Meg's loss. Charles deals Meghan a big blow as he decisively confiscate lavish gift when he is king. It's believed that Prince Charles will follow tradition and move into Buckingham Palace when he becomes king. But now, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are not likely to move into Clarence House when Charles becomes king after the Sussexes stepped away from being working members of the royal family, reports have shown. The Prince of Wales moved into the house after the Queen Mother died in 2002, where she had lived for nearly five decades. Previously it was reported the Duke, 37, and Duchess, 40, of Sussex were earmarked to move into Clarence House once Prince Charles became king. However, new reports claim due to Megxit this is no longer the case. This weekend, the Mail on Sunday reported that a radical overhaul of the royal family's living arrangements is planned after Prince Charles becomes king, including that he will eschew moving into Buckingham Palace's lavish living quarters and that the monarch's private apartment will be reduced to little more than a flat above the shop. Turns out Harry and Meghan, under the plan, had previously been pegged to move into Clarence House, a vast property. Wildly speculative estimates have put its worth at more than $100 million. The Mail on Sunday reports the Sussex's departure to California means Clarence House is now no longer on the cards. The report outlined, it is now more likely to be saved for Prince George, Princess Charlotte or Prince Louis. Clarence House was the location where Prince William and Kate Middleton gave their engagement interview in 2010. However, the Mail on Sunday also reported the property's outdated decor is a turn-off for younger royals. The property is valued at over £50 million. While it may not be the biggest home, it's hard to beat Buckingham Palace's 775 rooms, the symbolism of Harry and Meghan and their family moving into Clarence House would have been significant given its sterling royal pedigree. The property was where the Queen and Prince Philip lived before the monarch ascended to the throne in 1952. The report also suggested Prince Charles plans to reduce the monarch's living residence at Buckingham Palace to no more than a flat above the shop when he becomes king. The monarch's living quarters at Buckingham Palace, which currently has 188 staff bedrooms and 52 royal guest bedrooms, will be cut. A friend of Charles told the Mail on Sunday, despite what everybody thinks about him not wanting to live there, he will certainly have accommodation there. But it will be a much more modest flat above the shop situation akin to that of the Prime Minister at Downing Street. The Mail on Sunday reported other plans include transforming Balmoral into a museum. A source said, the talk is of opening a museum paying tribute to the Queen. Meanwhile, one of the great unknowns about the House of Windsor is just how vast their collection of glittering gems actually is, given it comprises, as with their properties, both pieces owned privately by the family and those which belong to the Crown. Only a small selection of the most historically important pieces are on display at the Tower of London. The Queen lends pieces to female members of the royal family on a lifelong basis with the understanding that no one else is allowed to wear them. She regularly dolls out more pieces in recognition for hard work, for example, when the Queen lent Kate the Bahrain diamond and pearl drop earrings, which had been given to Her Majesty for her wedding, to wear to the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral in April. We will never know which sparklers the 95-year-old monarch might have planned to lend to the Duchess of Sussex. While Meghan inherited a number of pieces that belonged to Diana, Princess of Wales, including diamond butterfly earrings, a stonking aquamarine ring, and likely the matching bracelet, and a gold Cartier watch, it is highly unlikely, if not nigh impossible, she will ever be given access to this trove of priceless pieces. After staging her drama-filled exit, that royal collection may very well be off-limits to Meghan.